Hello, and welcome to this presentation on tardive dyskinesia. So let's first talk about what is NAMI. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which is the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization. It is composed of over 700 affiliates across the nation. In Mississippi, we have Coastal Mississippi, Jackson, Natchez, Pittsburgh, Tupelo, Meridian, and Oxford. And a couple of our goals, to educate the public about mental illness, to work to eliminate the stigma of mental illness, and to advocate for increased funding for research into causes and treatment of mental illness. So let's talk a little bit today about how NAMI got started talking about tartar dyskinesia. In early April, NAMI Mississippi acquired a $5,000 grant to help promote awareness of tardive dyskinesia. A recent informal survey of some of our NAMI members indicated a lack of awareness of this condition. So here's a quick synopsis about what is this disease. So what causes tardive dyskinesia? Tardive dyskinesia is a movement disorder that causes a range of repetitive muscle movements in the face, neck, arms, and legs. TD symptoms are beyond a person's control. These symptoms can make routine physical functions difficult, which can significantly affect someone's quality of life. So here are some other causes of tardive dyskinesia. Tardive dyskinesia is an uncontrollable movement disorder that is caused by the use of medications that are prescribed to treat certain mental illnesses, such as schizophrenia. Treatment for neurological issues or even getting prescribed medications for problems with someone's intestinal issues are other ways people end up getting TD. The Dystonia Research Foundation states that nerve cells called neurons in the nervous system make dopamine. This chemical is a neurotransmitter. That means it sends messages to dopamine receptors, which are proteins in your body and nerves. The two work together and send nerve signals that control body movements. So how does one manage TD? Managing tardive dyskinesia is not as easy, but there is hope, which is one of our support group principles. Not only is it possible for symptoms of TD to improve with treatment, there are also a wide variety of things that you can do to help yourself feel better in the meantime. Many of the best strategies work by reducing stress, which is a key aggravator of tardive dyskinesia. Burton Scott, a neurologist from Duke University School of Medicine, stated that any movement disorder, including tardive dyskinesia, gets worse under stress. And the following strategies can help manage TD and reduce stress to maximize your ability to control your movements. Work with your physician to talk about adjusting your meds. Practice self-care to reduce stress. Begin exercising regularly. Practice good sleep hygiene. Give yourself a break when you're nervous. And lastly, consider reducing your caffeine intake. So now we want to show you a video of a person who is suffering from tardive dyskinesia. Let's take a listen now. My name is uh, Jeff. I live in Northeast Philadelphia. I was diagnosed uh, with schizophrenia when I was 17 years old. I had a rough time growing up. Uh, there was a lot of difficult situations that I had to endure. I didn't have any friends at that time. I felt hopeless. But once I had my first breakdown, I was hospitalized then, uh, right before I graduated high school. I stayed home basically that, that whole 1970s. That was a whole decade that uh, was unproductive. And if I continued to do that, I would wake up one day, you know, an old man, and not have felt like I accomplished anything. 
I was seeing a psychiatrist and he encouraged me to enroll into a mental health program. The program was very big on building social skills, uh, making friends, and being part of uh, society as a whole. And that was important because that made me build up my self-confidence. Over the years, I was on a lot of antipsychotic medications until I tried one particular uh, psychiatric medication that as uh, soon after I started taking it, I felt the best I did since I was a little boy. I had no self-consciousness uh, being out in public on this medication. When my psychiatrist warned me that I would develop physical symptoms as in several years in the future, I wasn't really concerned about it because I was doing so well, I didn't want to have the risk of giving that up. Several years later, I woke up one morning uh, and I noticed that my cheeks were puffing in and out uncontrollably. And I was horrified when I saw my image in the mirror. And then the puffing in and out uh, changed to uh, grimacing. And I wasn't surprised that I was uh, diagnosed with tardive dyskinesia, TD, because I knew grimacing was one of the symptoms, but I was surprised. I started to have other physical uh, problems that I wasn't prepared for. TD has had a big impact on my life. My symptoms of TD are very visible, and as a result, people look at me differently. I travel by public transportation, and I have kids turn around and stare at me because they're curious or they don't understand why this man's making faces. So I don't get upset about that, but it does upset me. When people see me grimacing, they come to the conclusion that uh, there's something wrong with me I also dealt with uh, discrimination. Several times when I went with a friend into a restaurant, the hostess or the host uh, escorts me to the small dining room, and they do that to keep me away from most of the patrons. I'm very saddened that there's uh, people who have TD, and because of their movements, they're embarrassed to be around other people. Over the years, I worked with my doctors to treat my TD, but nothing really uh, worked effectively. I think doctors uh, could be more helpful with their patients by addressing the social stigma that uh, TD patients have to endure and finding steps where they can help their patients feel comfortable in the community. I've been very fortunate to be in the community. I like being on committees, seeing the same people every time, and you have a connection with them. Also, I'm very active at my church. I teach Sunday school to the adults. I've been making presentations for years, and I think what uh, which is most rewarding is uh, they see that I have challenges like schizophrenia and tardiskinesia, and they see all that I'm able to do despite these disorders. If I can do it, then other people can do it as well. I believe I can make a difference. Thank you very much. My name is Jeff, and I'm honored to share my story. In closing, our final message to you is this. Never give up hope. Now, more than ever, we need to find ways to stay connected with our community. No one should ever feel alone or without information, support, and the help they need. NAMI is here to help.